Ryan from Solid State Logic, and you're watching GearWire.com. Today I'll be introducing ProConvert, our DAW project conversion tool. Uh, Solid State Logic has recently announced ProConvert 5, and this is our DAW project conversion tool. What it allows you to do is uh, take up to 40 different applications and translate all the points in the edit timeline from one project uh, easily into another project to allow for all your edit points, all your fades and markers, and uh, many other items to be translated in your new application. Uh, today, specifically, I'm going to go from a Pro Tools session that I have set up, and I'm going to work through Pro Convert, uh, a very simple process of about six steps, and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up in a Nuendo session. Um, and the reason why uh, I'm doing it uh, from one project to another is, personally, I'm working in Pro Tools, and uh, this particular session that I'm demoing, a partner of mine works in Nuendo, uh, and this is why uh, initially I had chosen this demo to do the translation. This has been a useful tool for me already, and uh, thinking along those lines as far as, you know, if you like to work in one session uh, format and your partner or perhaps some clients like to work in another session format, uh, you can keep the integrity of the session intact as far as all your edit points and uh, as far as technical and creative uh, ideas and on the timeline. Those can stay intact, and those can be translated uh, for your client or your business partner or anyone else who's going to work uh, on the session of their choice and allow them just to work as comfortably as you were in your own session. I have a Pro Tools session here that I'm going to convert using Pro Convert, and I'm going to go from, uh, again, Pro Tools to uh, Pro Convert application. Uh, go ahead and convert that and then bring it into Nuendo. Uh, and here within my Pro Tools sessions, just to give you a reference, uh, I have five tracks, and you can see I'm here along the edit timeline. I have my combo bass track here with a fade on the uh, intro of the audio file. I have uh, my two drum tracks that I've, I've put an edit in, and then I also have just my two uh, guitar effects tracks down below. And then you can see here that on my drum tracks, I've also put in, in some volume and pan information that I need to uh, convert and bring over to uh, my partner who's going to be using this in a Nuendo format. So we'll just go ahead and, and close this out because the project is saved uh, as I want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of Pro Tools and don't save. And I'm going to go ahead and load up Pro Convert. Uh, Pro Convert, very, very small file. Uh, it comes uh, in the package with its own USB key. Um, and we use a USB key to allow for you to, to put that installation on any computer and just take the key with you. Uh, this key also serves uh, as a multi-license uh, key that allows you to put this on a server and allow for multi-license workstations to work off of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put that in my session. And I'm going to go ahead and launch ProConvert and then start the project translation process. And here we're met with ProConvert 5 blank window. Here within the ProConvert project window, you can see up top in the header we have our file, view, convert, tools, and help selections. Uh, very simple setup. One feature I wanted to show you here within the tool setup is audio tool. And here the audio tool is actually a separate application that you could open up within ProConvert and that will allow you to uh, file format change uh, any audio files. Uh, and you can see that we have um, the input selection here where, where if I imported information in we'd have all the samples, uh, all the timestamp information, the bit depth, the sample rate, and then down below is where we have all of our output information. You can see here that you, know, you can translate out to WAVE, AIFF, Soundscape, AIFF. Um, you have all your bit depth options and all your save destination options. Uh, this is a very handy feature that uh, perhaps, and, and myself, if you were using this to uh, translate samples between uh, one sampling application and another, say you had a drive that um, you know, had uh, giga sampler samples on it and you needed to translate to uh, something for battery. Uh, you can do this as a purely offline process within ProConvert. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out and we're going to go ahead and start the uh, project conversion process.